Um, thank you. I would say... See, I want to say it's the, uh, the vaccine and the scratch. But it's those first four episodes, Love Triangle, that was uh, really shook me up because it really brought out a different side of that character. Um, it's one of the few times, I mean, I've had to like, as an actor, I've had to play against Romero type zombies and we've done some really heightened stuff and zombie rats. Oh, look, there's a zombie rat in front of you and it's trying to... I found it really difficult to be like, why am I kissing Peyton and and Catty's in the kitchen? Those were the things that I found a surprise. Like, how? why is he doing these things? Um, that was, yeah. That was an interesting uh, uh, beginning of the season. Do you think that there's a future for Robbie and Peyton? Uh, yeah. Despite the chaos. Despite the chaos, I do. I think. I mean, I know. I know that the, everyone on iZombie. The Blaine, Ravi, Peyton triangle was something very temporary. I think also it was partly to do with uh, Blaine's storyline. It, it kind of it kind of sold more of Blaine than it did have any relevance to Peyton and Ravi. So it was more about him. Is he has he got amnesia? And, how, and they kind of stacked the odds having a girl be in love with this version. So it played more, it told more of that story rather than Ravi and Peyton. And now that that's done, I do believe that season four will, I want to say pick up, because there's nothing too, but there, there, there is further Ravi Peyton interactions. And I think they're end game. I think that in some world, Rob eventually wants those two characters together. I guess, I mean, that's the thing. There's there's loyalty and then there's blind loyalty, right? So he's always been loyal to Liv. But, I mean, Fillmore Graves are going to play a huge role in shaping the politics and the 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 future of Seattle in season four um, and I've already seen some of those bullet points and some of them are, are quite extreme some of their measures um, are, are fairly extreme and I definitely think that they force they, they'll force uh, a lot of the like Liv and Ravi particularly to it will force them to kind of reassess that relationship between humans and zombies um it will it will kind of test Ravi's loyalty uh, to either his own species or to. The, it's going to be an interesting. Uh, I mean, that's the new character for season four. The new character is Seattle. You haven't seen this Seattle before. It's a completely different world. The rules have changed, um, and we still really, as actors, we haven't really been told the full. We don't know the full depth and how much this kind of affects our characters yet. So we're still piecing it together. What was your favorite Liv brain from previous? D and D was one. Uh, D and D brain, not only because of Rose's performance, but I think also because of the impact of we, we got to have that Dungeon Dragon scene, which I think everyone we've well documented was our favourite day ever on our zombie. And the gamer brain because I got to help out and talk to Rose about what to play and what's going on, and so I had a bit of input. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you saying are there going to be more sex visions? My mum hopes not. My mum and my mum and my sister apparently hated that. I I made a really silly choice. Like, there's a thing I always struggle with, which is, shall I do what's right or shall I do what's vain? And like. I always choose to go with, let's just make the, the audience happy. And then like, I chose then to do what was right and not what was vain. And then I regretted it when I saw my sex faces. <laughs> so.